In this video, I'm going to show you another method for scraping dynamic content and JavaScript websites with Python. In previous videos, I've showed you how we can use Selenium to load the page up and then go through all the elements and extract the text that we need. But this method is going to use Selenium just to load the page and then we're going to return the HTML that it's rendered and we're going to put it through an HTML parser like Beautiful Soup. It's quicker, it's easier, it works really well in some websites. So, hi everyone and welcome, my name's John. If you're interested in more web scraping content, please consider subscribing to my channel. There's lots on there already and there's lots more to come. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to be working on one of the test websites today. This is the quotes to scrape the JavaScript version just as a demo. So if we look at the source code, we can see here's our script tag. It starts up here and we can see it's running jQuery. Uh, and down here, you can see there's the loop that it uses to create all of the divs with the, the quotes in them. Um, and if we go to the website and we did inspect element, we would actually see the HTML here, but we can't actually access it. Uh, so if I was to use, uh, let's say we'll try it with requests. So import requests and let's say our URL, which I've just copied slash JS, which is the JavaScript version of this website. And we'll do R is equal to request.get our URL. And then let's print R dot, let's do text for now we run that we can see that we just get back what we saw in the view source so none of the actual data so we couldn't then pass this information with beautiful soup to get the uh, divs and the text out but what we can do is we can actually use selenium to load the page up as i said and then we can return the HTML from that page. So we only have to do it once with Selenium and then we pass it with beautiful soup. So it's much quicker than just going through and getting each and every individual element from uh, within Selenium. I'm actually gonna use Helium, which is a wrapper built on top of Selenium. I just do this because it simplifies all the commands. I suggest you do the same. If you wanna use just pure Selenium, that's absolutely fine. It all works the same way. They share some commands too. So I'm gonna do from Helium import everything. And I'm going to say our URL is still this. And I'm going to do start uh, Chrome URL and I'm going to run it headless is equal to true. So I'm just going to save that and double check that there's no problems. Yep, good. So what we want to do is instead of just having start Chrome, we want to do put this into a variable. So I'm going to say browser is equal to. Now this will work in the same way. But what we can do now is we can do HTML is equal to browser dot get uh, sorry dot page source. So now what that's done is it's we're going to use the Helium uh, Chromium browser because we're using Chrome to load the page up and then we're going to get the page source which is the actual rendered HTML from that. So now if I do print HTML and text is quite big but if I scroll up right here we can see that this is where everything that has been rendered if you look through this it's all the divs with the class and the text so then we could use beautiful soup to actually get that information out I'll do a quick demo of that now so if we do from bs4 import beautiful soup and then we do we'll actually remove this we don't need this in here we can just do soup is equal to beautiful soup and then we give it the browser.page source and we're going to specify the HTML parser like this and then we can do um, print uh, soup.title.text to check that it's worked which it has so we can do quotes is equal to soup.find all because we want every single one the div and it was a class of quote. So if we print that out, we should get all the divs, the HTML divs with all the text in. Okay, yep, there we go, that's worked. So now we can just do a for loop. So we could just do for item in quotes and we can print out item.find and I think it was a span tag and it was class and it was text so if I just put dot text at the end of that so we just get the text of that element we should get the text back for each and every single one uh, which we do 
So that's it, that's quite a cool way of just using the browser to get the HTML for you. Um, this does work in quite a lot of applications. I've used it quite successfully before. So if you've got any others, as I said, if you've got any sites that you're trying to scrape JavaScript with, give this a go. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, consider liking, commenting, subscribing. The video always helps. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.